Martin and welcome to another great edition of Astronomy for Beginners and today I'm going to do another product review on the Solarmark collimator. With this simple device it's really quite cheap, it costs around about £23. You can get this from available from Amazon which if you click down on the description below it'll take you to the link. There's a link in the description box if you go through that you can order one of these now it's a very simple optical device there is no complicated uh, systems involved or optics or lasers all right it's just basically a reticle now the reason why i'm highlighting this is that a lot of people want to look into a newtonian reflector like this one here and they are put off by a lot of things of purchasing this awesome telescope is because collimation of the mirrors. Now, don't be put off by the collimation of a Newtonian reflector. Don't forget, you can't beat a telescope at its price within budget for a lot of amateur astronomers. And a telescope like this, an 8 inch aperture we'll see we'll give you a lot of awesome images of the moon the planets and fantastic device for deep sky observation and for taking pictures for the aperture because Newtonians are very cheap to buy they only require one optical surface that needs to be grounded highly polished and that's what you're paying for, just for the mirrors. Because it's a mirror type telescope, that's why they're so cheap. Now you compare an eight inch aperture, Newtonian, compared to an eight inch refractor, for example, the Newtonian's gonna be 10 times cheaper than that refractor. Because the refractor re requires a lot of optical grinding between the lenses and the coatings. Here it's just one main primary mirror and that's why they're so cheap to buy. This one is a good 8 inch F4 Newtonian reflector. It is main purpose is for uh, imaging which is really good. Very fast optics right? and you get some really good images from that. So from this people put off of collimation. Now don't get me wrong, collimation is an issue every time you set up for a night's observation or imaging you will get uh, problems where the mirrors will get misaligned. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a closer look how would you use this Cheshire eyepiece from Solarmark and how would you align the optics through the secondary and the primary mirrors right, and using this device in a nice easy and quick way to do it now don't get me wrong the, inst the instructions manual that comes with this device is really good however a lot of people amongst us may find it a bit confusing at first but with this video I'll demonstrate to you how easy that is to achieve collimation even a fast optics like this telescope for example so what we're going to do now we're going to take a closer look with this Cheshire eyepiece show you how to collimate using this cool device on a Newtonian reflector so we take a closer look on the Solarmark Universal collimator again small box and inside you've got the collimator itself Like so, rather simple device. You've got a, it's an aluminium body with a rubber eye cup with a pinhole. And here you have a reflective part, okay, where you will shine the collimator uh, in direct light, which means that if you're going to use the collimator, it's ideal that you'll use this to adjust your Newtonian during the day it has a sight through the hole and then you have a crosshair in the middle bang on the middle like so 
I do like how it ha comes with a dust cap so you can protect the crosshair so you don't damage it and that's basically what it is there's no glass involved or any optics that's all it is they're rather simple I do like this collimator the reason why I bought this collimator is it's relatively short I don't like the the longer collimators because you can get some one you can get some Cheshire eye pieces that are really long and I don't really like that so I like to have a short based uh, short collimator okay for my Newtonian reflector inside the box itself I do like how uh, in fact in here some really good really good manual instruction here oh fantastic really clear uh, loads of information there how to use it and in the back I do like the nice diagrams on there so solar mark I've really made a, an effort on um, on the instructions so it describes how you use the color mirror so fantastic um, little manual there uh, so it's well thought of one thing I do know or should like to have included in the pack is some kind of uh, inch and a quarter package now you do get some collimators with an adapter like this now this is what you can get from Alto Astro and this is a self centering adapter now you can use a collimator on a standard inch and a quarter focuser but if you've got a two inch uh, format focuser um, you can use the existing um, two inch adapter However, I find that this tends to move this slightly uh, to one side when you clamp it. However, with the Alto Astro self-centering adapter, this helps to, when you fit it in the eyepiece holder, you slide, uh, you unscrew the part there and you slide it inside, you clamp it and you put it in the eyepiece holder. What the self-centering does, it helps to keep the collimator very centre as he tightens it up like so. Okay, so I would rather recommend if you're collimating your Newtonian is to use a self-centering adapter like this. Okay, so if you're interested in buying uh, the Alto Astro self-centering adapter, again, the, the link is in the description. Okay, find the link and you can order one of these. I think these cost around about 35 to 40 pounds but it's a good ionized aluminium very well machined using uh, this device will give you some more accurate uh, alignment so that's what I would use is one of these so we'll take that apart and so that includes uh, the solar mark collimator all right there's not much to it so what we're going to do now is we're going to fit this onto my Newtonian reflector and we're going to adjust the optics. So upon looking through the SolarMark collimator, when you look through your telescope, you're going to see an image similar to this. As you can see there, there is uh, the mirrors misaligned quite badly there. And as we go through, we'll go through the process of each component. First off, you're going to see the border line through the pinhole of your collimator. You can see it as just a reticle around the side. Upon looking on, you'll see the corner of the primary mirror. As you can see there, you can see one of the, uh, it's like a dark part there. That's one of the mounting screws for the primary mirror. And you can just see the round shape of that primary mirror. Then we're going to go on to the secondary mirror which is situated there. As you can see it's 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 held in with uh, the four veins which is holding this secondary mirror. Okay you can see that there. Also if you look through the primary mirror you can see a donut at the center now you can just see it in the secondary mirror and then you will get some artifacts from the reflection which is quite normal but you need to ignore that anyway 
then you get the reflection of the eyepiece crosshairs which is situated in the, the second mirror and you will see the reflection of the 45 degree polished flat from the collimator. Now here's the second image and here is the the primary center donor or the spot. You can just see it there actually on the secondary mirror just to clear show you just a little bit better and then finally this is what it will look like when your Newtonian reflector is adjusted properly as you can see there you see the secondary mirror is centered the primary mirror is centered and you can see the 45 degree reflection from the collimator is also centered on the secondary mirror as well so that's the view you will see for your collimator so now what we're going to do is we're going to do the collimation and show you how would you adjust the secondary and the primary mirror using the eyepiece collimator so i'm looking through the eyepiece and as you can see my collimation is way out as you can see I've got my primary mirror you can see part of the vein and the secondary mirror so first off adjust the secondary mirror so using screws adjust the, the secondary mirror okay as you can see my hands over the top so I'm just bit by bit Okay, gradually just now we start to I'm just starting to get and now we can start to see the the secondary mirror. Okay, we've got this, we've got the uh, secondary mirror sort of centered. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go at the back of the primary mirror and adjust the screws and try and get this centered. Now, what you now once you've got sort of centers, you've got to keep doing it until primary mirror is central, and so is the the secondary mirror. Right, and you keep doing it, adjust the secondary, adjust the primary, and keep doing it until you get this. So, after a few tweaking with the primary mirror and the secondary mirror your fully collimated Newtonian should look like this you'll see there the spiders is now central along with the crosshairs of the collimator the secondary mirror is centered and the primary mirror donut is also centered this is now a fully collimated Newtonian and this is what it should look like on your Newtonian now you have it. That's how easy it is to collimate a Newtonian. With this Chosh eyepiece, you can use this device on any Newtonian reflector, okay, regardless of what it is. The one key aspect that I have found out, and 
to be honest with you, it, the Cheshire eyepiece does have its limitations. And one of the things is, I mean, this is great for the Newtonian collector, longer photo length, say like from F7 all the way down to F5. Now, if you go past that to the EF4, you're looking at a faster optics, which means that the mirrors, because they need to bend the light at a steeper curve, it means that the collimation needs to be a lot more accurate on this reflector. So if you've got an F4 or below, then maybe the Cheshire eyepiece might be pushing it and it might not be as accurate enough. So what I would do, or what I would recommend, is invest in a, a laser collimator for this type of uh, reflector. So if you've got a fast reflector like this one, especially the imaging reflectors, then maybe this might not be ad adequate for the job. Having said that, the Cheshire eyepiece is brilliant for the slower Newtonian. So F5 and slower to F9, then this is brilliant, okay? And for, for how much it costs, right? It's definitely worth the money. And would I recommend it? Yes, I would. And the good thing is, you don't need any batteries to power it, okay? It's it's there as long as you keep the cap. It does cap on there to protect the retina. It's fine, and it'll last for a lifetime, okay? And this will be a really good device. Also, having said that, if you're collimating your Newtonian, it is ideal that you get it set up during the, during the day or later evening where it's still light. There's one slight fall with this device is you're going to need some white light so that you can see the reticle and the mirrors. So you're going to have to collimate this during the day or during dusk where you can just see the mirrors. That is one disadvantage of using this optical device. Okay, so you will get problems with that Cheshire eyepiece. Having said that, you can get properly aligned, and properly collimated on your telescope, on your Newtonian telescope, without any problems. And it is really is quite accurate. So, would I recommend the product? Yes, I would. Yes, indeed, it's worth the money, 23 quid. If you, if you like my video, please give a thumbs up, okay, click on the, the like button, alright, just hit that like button, okay. Uh, we're also available for astronomy for beginners, alright, a Facebook group, please join that group. We've got a lot of good experienced astronomers and beginners alike, okay. They will give you really good advice on astronomy equipment and images. And again, click on the description, find the description there. It's on there, the link there to get to the Facebook group. And please join that group. Also, if you're interested in that Solomon Cheshire eyepiece, again, the description's below. If you want to visit that website and order one, please feel free. And again, if you like my videos and you want to keep updated on the latest uh, cool reviews uh, and advice and top tips for astronomy, please hit the subscribe button. Thanks again, thanks for watching and clear skies to you all.